As missionaries, Columbans are always looking to Jesus as the model missionary. He too was a person sent on a mission. We are reminded of this at Christmas. This year, the 2022 Columban Christmas Appeal features an insight into the education work currently operating in Peru and the disaster relief for the floods that have occurred in Pakistan. This Christmas, as we contemplate the child in the manger, being watched over by Mary and Joseph, we think of the love that brought Jesus into the world for us. As we see the suffering of the people in Pakistan and the situation of the people in places like Fiji and Peru, it is easy for our own hearts to reach out in love. In this, we are godlike. We are missionaries. The Manuel Duato School for Moderately and Severely Challenged Infants and Primary School Children is a Colombian project in Peru. 2022 saw the biggest intake ever of 459 children. This includes infants, primary school students, children with Down syndrome, autism, cerebral palsy, mental difficulties, and multidisabled, and we have in our school children with varying degrees of deafness. There are children in family inclusion, where the children are based at home, and the teachers go out to them due to the severity of their condition. We also have adults in the Manuel Duato Friends Club. La estrella del árbol de Navidad, preguntó Papá Noel, ¿quieres jugar? La estrella del árbol de Navidad, preguntó Papá Noel, ¿quieres jugar? Y tocaron las palmas, please, please, se cogieron las manos, please, 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 please. moviendo la cintura, please. In 2022, the Colombian project Warmi Huasi in Peru opened up four homework clubs after a two year break, working virtually with the children. Earlier this year, young people volunteered to tutor children and adolescents to help ease them back into school. Once more, children are now actively involved in the homework clubs, supported by a teacher in each place, three afternoons a week. The reading club has also begun again, twice a week, limited by COVID restrictions to 30 children at a time. In Pakistan, most of the country is affected by floods, including where Columbans live and work. Hundreds upon thousands of people have moved onto higher roadsides and live in makeshift shelters. Most days now, Columban priests and Columban co-workers are making packages, putting them in the jeep and traveling to places and people that may not have been reached yet by church organizations, NGOs and government agencies. Eventually, the waters will recede and people will return to their houses and rebuild. They will need ongoing help, especially those villages where we visit and support, where many of the mud and timber homes have fallen. Baby, baby.